everyone! So today I thought I'd do something a little bit different than my usual wedding videos. I decided to do something um, every Monday called the Random Monday Vlog or Monday Vlog or something like that. I'm not really sure what I'm going to call it. Um, but basically just a video blog of what's going on in my life, um, products that I've been using a lot lately that I want to recommend to people, um, just things like that. Just so. Um, people can kind of get to know me on a more personal basis and see if we have anything in common that we can chat about via the comment section below. And then just like I said, share just like products that I'm using right now that I really like that I do want to recommend to people. Not necessarily wedding related. There'll probably be a lot of um, like beauty related type things just because that's what I'm really into right now. So um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy this series. If you absolutely hate it, let me know and I'll stop doing that. I'm not really sure if anyone really cares what's going on in my life or anything like that. And like I said, I'm going to be doing this about every Monday or so just because I know that once it gets to be wedding season and we are having um, weddings on weekends Mondays I'm gonna be a little bit more rundown than usual um, and I know that I probably won't be in the mood to really record a full video so I think more of just like a generalized random chat is definitely the way to go for those types of Mondays so I figured I'd just start it now just because I have come across some products lately that I really have been enjoying and using and, and things like that that I want to share with you. So um, I'm going to just get started. I guess the first thing I'll talk about is just what we did this weekend. Um, we're actually kind of really boring, so <laughs> there's really definitely not anything super exciting. On Friday we stayed in and we um, did a home-cooked Italian meal. We did Italian night and we just got a bottle of red. Um, we did some big ziti because it's really easy to make some stuffed mushrooms, um, some salad, and then I made a cheesecake. So that was pretty fun. We don't really like cook very often just because, um, I don't know, for two people to go through all that work and all those dishes, it's like, eh, I don't know, I'd rather just like put something in the microwave or boil something in a pot really quick and be done with it. Um, but Josh actually really likes to cook, so um, I have to make more of an effort to find recipes that I like and really go all out, especially for Friday nights when we don't really have any plans. I think that's, you know, it's, it's healthier for one because you know exactly what ingredients are going in your food, and two, it's definitely cost effective. Um, so I don't need to do that more often, but it was the first time we've actually done like a more extravagant home-cooked meal in, in quite some time. But it was really good. We really enjoyed it. Um, and then Saturday, we actually had a client meeting in the afternoon. We went with one of my clients, um, and we're helping them do like a passport invitation design type thing. They're actually doing most of the creatives themselves, which is kind of helping them along with some of the design aspects on the inside. And I'm really excited about it. It's going to be really, really cute. So I always really enjoy meeting my clients face-to-face um, -face in person. I just like to to hear um, you know directly from them how their wedding plans are going and what the status is and how I can help and just kind of touch base with them I just think that it's, it's really good to do that every once in a while and then Saturday afternoon I actually went and started looking for some glasses I, I need some new glasses my prescription to change a little bit so I thought it was a good excuse to get some new frames I've had these for about two years now so um, and I actually found some, and believe it or not, I found them at my eye doctor's office, which I thought was totally weird. When I was there for my eye appointment and I was checking out, um, I just happened to look over at the wall of frames and I was like, gosh, they have some really good ones here. And I didn't have time at that moment to actually go through and look for them, but I went back and I tried a pair on and I was just like, okay, these are it. I'm usually that kind of person where if I try something on, I know immediately if I like it or if I don't. And I knew that those were my glasses. And believe it or not, they're Vera Wang. <laughs> Um, I totally did not plan that. I didn't even look at the brand, but when I tried them on, I just kind of like put them on and I looked at them and I was like, oh yeah, I really like these. And I looked at Josh and he's like, oh yeah, those look really good. And then I looked at the brand and he's like, oh, that is so funny that you're a wedding planner and that you have your wearing glasses. So it totally was not planned, but whatever. Um, and then we actually ended up going to the suburbs because I wanted to look around some more just to make sure. I'm that kind of person where like, even though I know I like something, I definitely want to keep shopping around, especially for something like glasses because I have to wear them every day. So I really want to make sure that I like them before I buy them. And I ended up going to see eyewear and lens crafters just because I know that in the past I've actually had really good luck with lens crafters. So um, I went to both of those places and I didn't find anything that I liked. Apparently I have a really big head. So like all of the glasses looked way too like narrow on me and they made my head look really big. So I was like, oh, screw that. So I just decided to go the Vera Wangs and I ordered them and I'm really excited and I get them on Thursday so that's really fun. Um, 
And then Saturday night we actually went to the ballet. Josh and I actually do subscribe to the Joffrey Ballet in Chicago. Um, I kind of grew up with dance. I danced pretty much almost all through high school and I danced a little bit in college too. So that's something that I've always been interested in and Josh has actually become really interested in it as well. He really likes to go to performances with me. No one ever believes me when I tell people that, but I swear to God, he actually does. Um, so we did that. The performance was um, The Merry Widow. It was um, it was a very lovely production, beautiful costumes, beautiful scenery, and of course beautiful dancing. It just really wasn't my kind of production. I really like weird out there choreography. Um, this was definitely more traditional. It had more of a story to it, a lot of acting, things like that. Whereas I like to just see dancing. <laughs> I don't really like to be like a lot of acting and stories. I just want to see people dance and I don't know. So I mean I liked it, but um, it wasn't my favorite ever. Let's see what we did yesterday. We didn't really do anything yesterday. Um, we didn't even watch the Oscars just because we actually don't have cable. Um, we canceled cable at the beginning of this year just because it was, we had like DVR and all that stuff and it was like 90 bucks a month. We have RCN and so um, Josh has been trying to get me to cancel it for a while just because we actually do end up watching a lot of our shows online and things like that. And we also have Netflix and we have the streaming DVD where we can watch things through our TV on Netflix streaming. And like you can get almost any show on Netflix now that's streaming. So I finally bit the bullet. I was really hesitant to do it, but... Um, we have actually been really liking not having cable. There's less distractions. I'm not watching The Notebook on ABC Family for like the 80th time. I don't know why, but for some reason when I'm just like doing something in our living room, I'll turn on the TV for background noise and before you know it, I'm watching some stupid movie that I've seen a million times and it just becomes a distraction. So we don't have that many distractions anymore. Um, so when we do watch things, we're watching them because we really want to be watching them. So we really enjoyed that, but we did watch some Oscar recaps. Um, I was kind of rooting for Jesse Eisenberg to win Best Actor for The Social Network, but he didn't. So I was kind of disappointed about that. I just always liked him since I saw The Squid and the Whale a long time ago. Um, I thought he was so good in The Social Network, so I was really kind of disappointed about that. But then again, I don't really ever put, you know, too much into the Oscars just because, you know, it's whatever. It's just like, it doesn't change the fact that I love the movie or anything. So. Um, so we just basically just watched recaps online last night and just kind of hung out and stuff. So um, that's it. So today's Monday, obviously, and I'm obviously once again in my loungewear. Usually on Mondays, I because I do work on the weekends, I'm at the very least always responding to emails and trying to get my schedule sorted out, going on consultations and meetings and things like that. So on Mondays, I kind of take it a little bit easy. I don't really go too many places. Um, and I usually kind of stay in my PJs all day. So... Um, yeah, that's why I'm in this like sweatshirt type thing from Victoria's Secret. This is what my sister got me for Christmas, which I love. I'm always wearing this thing. I like the color too. But anyway, um, so yeah, so that's pretty much it. But I did get some new things recently that I wanted to talk to you guys about. I actually, I'm not sure if anyone knows about these, but I'm kind of obsessed with these EOS lip balms, Evolution of Smooth. And they look like this. They come in little eggs. And I have like three of these. So obviously I'm a huge fan. But I love, love, love these so much. This one's Honeydew. And they smell so good. And I also have Sweet Mint and Summer Fruit. And I have the Sweet Mint in my nightstand and then Summer Fruit in my purse. And then this one I just keep out here for, you know, when my lips are randomly dry and I'm watching TV or something. But Evolution of Smooth actually came out with hand lotion. And I have been looking for these for weeks because they just came out in February. And I couldn't find them anywhere. And in Chicago, the only place that you can find them so far is Walgreens. So I've been like on every Walgreens that we pass. I'm like, I have to go check out and see if they have these. And I finally found one today. I actually, because it's so nice out, took a walk. Well, nice out, meaning that it's sunny and not, you know, negative 20 degrees outside. Um, so I took a walk today to my, wa my local Walgreens and I found one. And it looks like this. I haven't even opened it yet, so I thought I'd open it for you guys right now and just kind of give you like my first impression. I really wanted the cucumber scented one, but they didn't have it, so I was just like, well, whatever. I've been waiting so long for this. I, I just grabbed it, and I was like, whatever, I don't care. Aw, the packaging is so cute. It's like a flat egg. Oh, I love it. So um, this one's just the regular unscented one, and it's 97% natural, it says. It says lightweight, fast-absorbing, and non-greasy, which is definitely what I'm looking for in a hand lotion. So let's go ahead and try this out. 
The packaging is kind of small. I think I paid about $5 for this, but I mean, it kind of fits perfectly in your purse. So I like that. So let me just try it out for you guys now and see. Yeah, it's definitely not scented. You can't scent, you can't smell anything at all, which is good because I'm not really into scents, like especially really strong scents. I'm kind of sensitive to stuff like that. Um, but this is great. This doesn't bother me at all. Oh my gosh. It really does absorb really fast, so that's definitely true. And I'm already non-greasy, so what was that, like 10 seconds at the most? Okay. So yeah, first impressions, guys, I really like it. <laughs> so if you can find these at your Walgreens, I believe they only come in two scents right now. Well, one non-scented and then cucumber, so I really definitely want to try the cucumber at some point. And then while... I was out this weekend looking for glasses. I made Josh pull into Ulta um, just because I feel like I always have to go in. And I had a coupon for $3.50 off a $10 purchase. So I was like, well, um, I really needed some blush. It's actually one of the few makeup products that I don't really have a lot of. I think I only have like one or two blushes. And they're both pretty standard. I think I have NARS Orgasm and then I have a NYX one. Oh, and then I do have an e.l.f. one, Eyes, Lips, Face, um, that comes in the bronzing contour blush duo thing. So I wanted to go out and get some more blushes, and I've heard really good things about these CoverGirl Cheekers blushes. Um, they're only $3.99 at drugstores and at Ulta, um, and I wanted to get a bunch of different colors because I don't really, like I said, I don't really have a large variation of them anyway, so I got um, four. Let me show you guys. I went a little crazy with the blushes. So I got four, and I only used one. I've only used, what is it? Um, golden pink, which is this color, and I actually bought this as a contour color for when I don't really want to wear bronzer, but I do want like a little bit of contour on my cheeks. So I really like this color. It's um, it's like just like a really, really, really dark goldeny pink. So I like that one. Um, the other three I haven't opened yet because I just got these on Saturday, um, and I got Plumberry Glow, which is this one. And then I got True Plum. I really wanted a plum blush to go. Um, with like when I want to wear like a plum colored lip gloss or lipstick or something so that's why I really want to get that one and then I got another contour color called soft sable which is almost identical to the golden pink but golden pink's a little bit darker and this one's just a little bit more bronze so I got those which I I really like the one that I've been using so far I threw away the brush because I think the brushes are just completely useless and eventually I want to get one of those Z palettes I'm not sure if you guys have heard about those but they're those makeup palettes that are completely magnetized and then you can depot um, all of your blushes and single eyeshadows and stick them in this magnetized palette and keep everything in one place so the reason I want to get these is because I think they're a really good size and I eventually want to depot them meaning take these out and put them in a Z palette so all of my blushes are in one place um, so that's kind of also why I got those as well plus I've heard that they're just really good products so so far I'm really happy with those oh the one thing that I was really excited about on Sunday and let me go get them hold on a sec okay so my husband called me from Trader Joe's. He always makes a Trader Joe's run on Sunday afternoon. Then he called me um, yesterday when he was out and he was like, the Girl Scout cookies are here. <laughs> I just, I was like so excited because I've been really wanting Girl Scout cookies. So he picked me up some Tagalongs and some Thin Mints, of course. So we were like chowing down on these last night. So yay for Girl Scout cookie season. So excited about these too. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any questions about the products I talked about, let me know. If you guys um, like these products too and like you know some different colors that I should try out, please let me know about that as well. Um, and then I will be back with some wedding type videos this week. I do want to talk about timelines a little bit um, and then some other various ideas that I have for you guys. So um, hopefully I will see you guys back here soon. Keep an eye out for some more wedding videos and I will talk to you later. Bye!